everyone and welcome back to the breakdown how to today I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how to install world edit in Minecraft single player now whether it's version 1.8 like what we're looking at here all the way up to version 1.12.2 this tutorial should work for you if you have any issues please do post those in the comment section down below I'll be more than happy to help you out but let's go ahead and get on into it first though be sure to check out the first link down below that is the breakdown.xyz slash mc server that's going to take you off to game servers to where you can get an incredible minecraft server running mods running all that stuff for just one dollar per month you're not going to find a better deal out there that is the breakdown.xyz slash mc server first link down below we use them for all of our servers and absolutely love them so once you're ready to install world edit the first thing you need to do is go to the second link down below that's going to take you here where you can scroll down and find this the big green download world Edit button click on that and it will take you off to curse forge here where we want to come over here and click on the files icon then you want to find the version you want whether it's 1.8 down here or for me 1.12 the most recent version of Minecraft. We're going to go ahead and click on that download button right there. It will then download right down here the jar file. Now we want to keep click keep. I promise it's safe. It is the world edit dot jar and as long as that's the file you're downloading it's 100% safe. It's been downloaded by nearly 1 million people. Once you've got that, though we're not quite done yet downloading, you need to go to the third link down below, which will take you to here, which is our Forge tutorial where you can scroll down and find the Download Forge button there. Click on that and it will take you off to here, Minecraft Forge. Now, you want to find the version of Minecraft Forge you're installing. If you're doing 1.8, you'll come here to 1.8, click on it, and do that. If you're doing 1.12, like what I'm doing, or 1.12.2 right here, you're going to come up here and make sure that is bold. Once you've got that, confirm the version yet again over here, and then go under Download Recommended over here and click on the Installer button right there. It is then going to take us off to Add Focus, where we have to wait five seconds. Don't click anything on this page, just wait five seconds, and then in the top right, you will see the red skip button up here. Click that red skip button and it will download Forge right like that. You may have to keep this file, as you can see here as well, but that is forge.jar at the end. That's the correct file. We're going to keep it. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And here on our browser, we have this, World Edit and Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, Awesome. Just go ahead and click the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Then we'll open up this Run folder here. And we just want to type in Downloads. Exactly like that and hit Enter. They'll be here in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once they're on your desktop, we're going to be starting with Forge. Right click on it. Go to Open With right here. Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't have that, no worries. Just go to the fourth link down below and install Java, right? It's going to be the Java SDK and it's going to allow you to have Java TM Platform SE Binary there to open this with. Once you've got that, go ahead and click it and it will open up this handy dandy installer for us. We just want to go ahead and click install client, click OK, and bada bing bada boom, successfully installed client profile forge. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK there. Now, we need to get World Edit installed. To do this, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent, APP, DATA, percent, percent, app data percent, just like that, and hit enter. It will then open up this, the roaming folder. We then want to go ahead and go into .minecraft here in roaming, and you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? What do I do? Well, don't freak out. Calm down. It's okay. Just right click, create a new folder and title it mods right new folder title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder take the world edit file you downloaded here drag and drop it into your mods folder just like that and there you go it's as simple as that go ahead and close out of that folder now we just need to open up the minecraft launcher here we're just opening up the normal old minecraft launcher i have to download an update you probably won't have to do that but that's okay i'll see you guys once these updates are finally done downloading eventually it will launch into the minecraft launcher as you can see here i'm gonna have to log in so let me go ahead and do that and then i'll see you guys 
on the next screen. Password entered, hit logged in, and here we are. Now, once we're on this screen, we want to click the little green arrow here next to the play button and find the Forge profile. As you can see, right there it is. Click on that. Then, you should be able to click play. If it doesn't work, however, come back here to this screen. Just open up the Minecraft launcher. Come over to launch options up here. Then, find the Forge profile yet again right there. Click on that. And then, next to version, click on this drop-down box. Then scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll probably have multiple versions of Forge. So as you can see right here, we have 2705 at the end, right? The version number at the beginning are both 14.23.4, right? Exactly the same for 1.12.2. That's great. So we want to look at these last numbers in the very end here. As we can see, 2707 is higher than 2705, so we want to go with 2707. Once you've clicked on that, click Save. Come back here to the News tab, click a little arrow again, confirm the Forge profile is selected, and then click Play. It will now open up Minecraft with Forge and World Edit installed. World Edit is an awesome mod, guys. I love it so freaking much. My Minecraft opened up really small. Let me take care of that real quick. Make Minecraft a bit bigger for us. But yeah, th this is an awesome mod, and I love it for building. So boom, we're into Minecraft here. We can click on Mods, scroll down, and there is World Edit. Just like that. You can also launch into Single Player. I'm just going to create a new world real quick. Boom, and then I'm going to make it creative, just so I can show you very easily how to do this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. World Edit is installed. After our world loads up here, I'll be able to show you we can come in here and grab an axe. A wooden axe is what you want for world edit. So we click on that. Now if we left click, that happens. If we right click, the first position happens. And then you can do all sorts of stuff. I think slash slash copy might be a thing. There we go. And then we can come over here and do slash slash paste and boom. It changed the blocks, right? It actually just deleted some stuff and added in some, some, some of these. But still, that is pretty cool. You can do tons and tons and tons of awesome stuff with the world edit. I mean, you, you really can. This is such a versatile mod. And I, like I said, I love this when building in creative and doing things like that. Boom, and there, as we can see, we can now see that that tree was copy and pasted into the ground, but still copy and pasted. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did help it you out, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Minecraft 1.13 is just two weeks away, and we are going to be doing tons and tons and tons of tutorials on it once it comes out. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown How-To, and I am out, guys. Peace.